May 14th, and we are 23 weeks today. Here's my little bump. Baby's kicking a lot. I haven't eaten all day, so it's probably uh, hungry. That's why he's kicking. Gonna get some food right now. Here's another view on this side. Feed baby scooper. 23 weeks, guys. <sighs> Filling some hot pot at Boiling Point. This is a very small shop. And no line, yay! Brian has his Angus on the side and I have my Taiwanese spicy. No pork intestines, no cabbage, and no noodles. Here's my side of tofu skin. Heading back to LA and look at the view. It's kind of foggy. I think it's a uh, fog, but Brian probably thinks it's just the clouds. It's probably smog. Yeah, smog. Because uh, the carbon, like Brian was saying earlier, is uh, getting higher and higher. Climate change. All right, we are back home. I'm full, baby's happy, mom is happy. And uh, these past couple days have been really hard on recovering. Usually after a show, I recover. Maybe it takes me like a day, but now it's like taking me a day and a half, pushing two. I have been just laying in bed and feeling so tired, fatigue, and catching up with my rest, basically. I wasn't feeling hungry, but I feel like I had to eat just to uh, feed the baby, because this past weekend we ate a lot of food, and. And I've gained like, you know, maybe three and a half and I'm trying to like, you know, keep it together and make sure that I don't go overboard because weight during pregnancy is very, very important. We can't overdo it. We can't underdo it. So anyways, um, this past weekend I visited Kat and she was nice enough to gather some clothes that she wasn't using anymore from her kids. Her baby, her newborn baby like grew out of the clothes fairly quickly. I didn't think that babies grow that fast, but it's only been like a month or so and apparently he already grew out of it. But I just want to show you guys what she put together. So we have baby bottle right here because I'm not breastfeeding. I did agree to pump feed. So I just want to pump for the first month or at least get the baby to get my um, colostrum. It's like this milky substance in the beginning of your breast milk thing thing, you know? So it comes out first and then the milk comes out. But that's it, I don't want to breastfeed. And I know that some people are like, yes, the health and etc. etc. But for me, I feel like I'm uncomfortable and formula is recommended by some people as well. So it's not too crazy. So basically this is a baby haul, <laughs> okay? Very cute. This one's new. Maybe she had a lot of clothes and she couldn't go through all of them. I don't know what this, what do you call this? It's not a onesie, and it's not like a shirt or pant. It's like a baby sack. And in the back, look how cute. It's like um, teddy bears and uh, houses. Brian, what do you call this? Is this a baby sack? Uh -huh. It's like a onesie. A onesie has like pants, but this one doesn't have pants. It's just a sack. And he has one leg. He has one leg. <laughs> Okay, and I got treats from the airplane. <laughs> it's not part of it. Then we have this swaddle blanket right here to swaddle the baby. Oh, look how cute. A monkey cap. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyways, like that. I heard babies don't like when you put stuff on their head, but we will see. Here's another cap for the baby. Another cap. More caps. This one has elephants and yellow elephant as well. So there, and then we have monkeys. I think Cat likes monkeys. Chunky monkey, I guess. And here is a boat, a little sailboat. Lots and lots of caps. And here's a sports doggy. Look how cute. From what I heard is that these little buttons are really annoying. When you have to take off the clothes and change the baby's diapers, it's better to do zippers. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. It's all gonna be Brian, so uh, he'll have to deal. <laughs> a star. And then has a buttons again right here. Little animals. Looks like a, a wolf, I suppose. Leaves for fall. Teddy bear onesie. Oh, this one's a zipper, so this is what I'm talking about. The zipper that goes up and down. Be sure to uh, not, you know, pinch your baby's skin. <laughs> Be careful. Onesies right here. How cute. So small. Cars. Another monkey. Truck. Oh, look at the pants. Robot. Er, we come in. 
That's not, that's not a robot, that's an alien. <laughs> okay, handsome. And last is another onesie. Thank you so much, Kat, for giving me some clothes. Hopefully, Scooper will make use of it, and um, Brian will figure something out. Also, I visited my friend Bao, and his wife gave me this book right here. It says, Baby 411, Clear Answers and Smart Advice for Your Baby's First Year. So, it's going to have 400 plus pages of useful info about health, sleep, and nutrition. So, story on this book is that um, Lynn gave it to me, and then her baby came up to me and was like, No! This is uh, my book. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and then his mom was like, well, give it to auntie. And he was like, nope, my book. And she was like, okay, give it to uncle, Uncle Brian. And he was like, okay. So the baby took the book to Uncle Brian, this guy right here, and gives it to him. He's like a child whisperer, which is good for me. I don't need to deal with the extra, um, you know, baby clinginess. Right, Brian? Oh, yeah. This baby looks like he has a cell phone on his hand. Look. I think this one is also from Kat. This is uh, more onesies, I suppose, with dinosaurs. Kat also gave me another bottle for formula feeding. Lynn gave me this, super cute. It's like a little vest for pooper scooper. And some cute pants, look how cute. <laughs> we have a pink shirt that says, grow with me. This kind of like a onesie or overalls has like animals on them and this one right here so how cute is this a big onesie with a really cute hanger baby hanger let me take it out of the bag to show you guys oh and look at that it's fancier than mine the heck <laughs> All right, so thanks Lian and Bao and Kat and Don once more. Hopefully baby Scooper will fit into these eventually. He has to, like he's going from small to big, so yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna reorganize everything. After coming home from a show, everything's a blob and gotta unpack and I still have some CDs left from this show. There wasn't a lot of people at the wedding. Usually for weddings and for like birthday parties or charity events, I bring my CD and give them out for free just to, um, you know, have something special for the event and also for support for certain charities. So yeah, we have some left and hopefully next time I'll give to other or sell. Alright, so uh, let's deorganize everything and organize. Unpack and then clean up. <laughs> it is now 1.15 a.m. and time to go to sleep. Did some work on the computer, so uh, <sighs> having some trouble to knock out, but have to uh, rest up and uh, get back on schedule. I do not want to get off schedule, so we must just force ourselves to knock out. <laughs>